the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook line. They start at $549, there's an upgraded model for $699, and it's a lot more laptop than you get for buying a $5 or $550 Windows laptop, where you're still gonna get something that feels very plasticky and frankly, pretty sluggish most of the time. Whereas for five or $600, uh, you can get a pretty premium Chromebook. Again, like this version, the second version, it's called the Galaxy Chromebook 2. Now the big differences between this new version of the Chromebook 2 and last year's original Galaxy Chromebook is that they've taken the screen here and it is now what they call a QLED screen. That's Samsung's name for one of its screen technologies and you'll find the same QLED screens in a lot of their TVs. So that's now built in here on the laptop as well. Also, we've got Wi-Fi 6, because we're moving into a Wi-Fi 6 world. One interesting thing I learned about the Galaxy Chromebook 2 is that it is notably louder than many other similar sized laptops. And one of the complaints that people have, especially about small laptops, even expensive small laptops, like a MacBook or something, is that frankly, they don't get very loud. And the audio quality is often not very good. Especially when you're down around five, $600, you can't expect a lot, especially from a very thin laptop like this. Uh, but, but having some additional amplification inside to make things louder, I'm not gonna say they're gonna sound great, but especially if you're doing remote learning and all the kids in the class are talking at the same time or the teacher doesn't have a good connection or a good microphone, which I see all the time, uh, getting a little more loudness out of your very thin laptop, you know, you can't go wrong with that. I also like that, again, for this sort of mid-priced product, uh, you get something that is not just a laptop, it's what we call a two-in-one, and that's a laptop that has a special set of 360-degree hinges, so you can fold it flat like this, and go all the way around like this, so you can use this you know, in tablet mode for reading or video viewing. I like to set these up a lot of the time like this. I call this kind of a kiosk mode, where the keyboard is on the bottom, it's deactivated when you fold it like this, and you just stick it down like this, and you have an adjustment adjustable screen that looks more like a standalone display. So if you're watching a movie, you're playing a game, you know, this is a good, or watching a school lecture, frankly, uh, you know, this is a good way to do that. That's my favorite thing, I think, to do with these two-in-one devices. Oh, the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook 2. Uh, it is a step up from entry-level Chromebooks, but it's less expensive than premium Windows laptops. Uh, and I think if you're looking to spend five, six, maybe a little bit more, $100 on a, on a device you can use all day, every day, and not feel frustrated with, and not feel like it's not comfortable and it's too plasticky, uh, a Chromebook is generally where a lot of people are starting off these days. It's something we've really discovered over the past you know, three quarters of a year. I think it's gonna continue to be true in 2020 and the uh, Intel Celeron version of the Galaxy Chromebook 2 at $550. The Intel Core i3 version, which should be pretty zippy, frankly, uh, is $699, and they will both be out sometime in Q1 of 2021.